we, we really need to realize one fundamental thing, and that is that Mother Nature is the main shareholder of everything we do. She's actually the shareholder of our lives and the shareholder of the future of our children. But I think for our kids it's also um, a sense of ownership. Like, do they feel that it's their role it's or that they need to do it? That's where it comes in about, like, what is our role as humans? So whatever it is that you're interested in affecting change too, so whether you're interested in saving endangered species or ending gender-based violence, whether you're interested in educating children or, you know, changing our plastic consumption, each and every one of these things is interlinked with our planetary crisis and I think the better we can connect with one another and remind each other that we're not alone. What gives me even more hope is the incredible people that I've met all over the world who really love nature, love Mother Nature very deeply and are dedicating their lives to looking after her. To have examples um, bring light to change for the positive, bring light to to examples of where success is not that far away as it might see, initially seem. When you're surrounded by all of the information to the negative, you really need these positive examples to really buoy people up. One of the communities I was collaborating with, they have already invented um, an alternative solution to decrease the pressure on the ocean. They were really seeing the fishing community taking the lead, telling stories, giving solutions, um, suggesting ways to, to change the, the issues that we are facing with the ocean. So conservation and the protection of species and success doesn't need to be 30 years away all of the time. It could be tomorrow if you have the boldness to act on the data and make the decision now. Protecting biodiversity is really protecting the future of our species, the future of our children, and the future of this planet as we know it. So there's no, for me, there's no, nothing that's more important. The biodiversity, it's the most precious thing we will ever encounter. By, by meeting locally and, and in places together, I think it's the only time that we'll be able to share a vision of what the future can look like.